everybody. Welcome to another episode of How to Pass the Math FSA, the fourth grade edition. Today we are going to be working on two standards combined. We're going to do maths.4.md 3.5 and MD 3.6. It's lesson 24 and we will be working with angles today. Um, before we begin, let me go over this diagram over here. Okay, so here's what I did. I first took a square corner and I lined it up right here, and then I just drew around it. See the black line that I drew? Okay, a square corner, the fancier word for that is a right angle, and a right angle me measures 90 degrees. Anything greater than a right angle, like the green right here, would be an obtuse angle, an obtuse angle, it's bigger, it's larger than a right angle. And anything smaller, then a right angle, like where my red is right here, my red angle is an acute angle. So I'm just gonna leave this diagram up, up as we proceed forward in today's lesson. Um, if you have a hard time seeing some of the problems that I'm doing, you can download the same exact problems that I'm using by clicking the description box below. There's a link. It'll take you to the complete guide to passing the math FSA. And then you'll be able just to quickly locate the standards that we're working on today. You'll have everything that you need. Plus, you will have 10 extra practice problems that don't make the video to make sure that you have this standard locked down. So without further ado, let me teach you. All right, so we have example one. An angle is shown. What is the measure in degrees of the angle? So here is the angle, because I know it might be kind of hard for you to see. We've got our first ray. Let me use, can you see that? Let me make it bold. We've got our first ray pointing right here at the zero. And then the second ray goes zoop, all the way up here, okay? All right, and here, this box right here, this would be 90 degrees. And by the way, this is called a protractor. It's a fancy one because it's a circle protractor. But the second ray, to find the measure of the angle, we take that second one. So, I'm sorry, let me back up. We line the first ray up with the zero, and the second ray up, wherever it points, that's where we're going. And it's pointing directly to 120 degrees. All right, YouTubers, so my challenge to you for the last question was what kind of angle was that, that 120 degree angle? Was it right, obtuse, or acute? What I want you to write is example one and then the, the answer for what I'm asking you. So is it right, obtuse, or acute? Go ahead and comment that in the box below. Let's do number two. An angle, and excuse me for all the sniffles. Got the sniffles today. Angle M is Angle M measures 45 degrees. One ray of angle M is shown. So we've got our point right here, and one of the rays is going directly at the zero line, okay? Draw another ray on the protractor that will create angle M. So we need to find where 45 degrees is. So what I see, I see two going up here, I know 45 degrees is less than a right angle. So my right angle would actually be right here. So it's going to be less than. So I'm going to go, woo, here's 40, here's 50, and right in between the two would be 45. So I'm going to take my line, draw it down. You know what? I would highly encourage you to have a straight edge handy. That way it doesn't look all sloppy. There you go. And that would be 45 degrees. Now don't get tripped up because over here there's a 40 and a 52. But if you were to draw that angle, that would then be an obtuse angle. That's not going to work. 45 degrees is less than 90 degrees. It's less than a right angle. So therefore it is acute. Okay, example three. Select the category of measure for each angle. So I'm seeing a bunch of angles right here, and I need to classify them as being less than a right angle, which would be acute, or between 90 and 180 degrees, which would be obtuse. So you need a square corner. I just have this little piece of paper. 
it has a square edge. You just need a piece of paper too, okay? Um, I believe on the test, here's the strategy. On the FSA test, hang on one second. On the FSA test, you will receive this reference sheet and it has a square corner. So use this on your test to help you, okay? I'm gonna use this just because it's a little bit easier to hold and model for you. Use the square corner on your FSA reference sheet. So what you do is you take your square corner and you're gonna line it up with one of the rays. And if the other one matches perfectly with the edge, then it's a right angle. If you see the line, then it's obtuse. And if you don't see the other ray, then it's acute. So this one is definitely a wide open angle that's gonna be between 90 and 180 degrees. For the next one, let me move this light a little bit so you can see the problem. Okay, um, I know it's small, but if you have the guide, you'll be good to go. So I'm lining it up directly with one of my lines and I don't see it, it doesn't line up perfectly, so it must be less than a right angle. Here, line it up perfectly with one of the rays. All right, I don't see it, and I know it looks very skinny. It looks like a tiny angle, so it is less than 90 degrees or acute. Four. Which is an angle. Okay, that's easy enough. So an angle is where two rays come together at a point. So here is a point that is not an angle. These are parallel lines. That is not an angle. This looks like an acute angle. And notice I said angle. So yes, this right here, um, you'll learn about later, looks like a parabola. It's a curvy line, parabola. That, that is coming later down the road, like algebra two. Um, and then your, this one has a nice square corner, so it is a right angle, 90 degrees, so A and E. Example five, last one for today. What is the measure in degrees of angle T? So this is angle T and we're measuring right here, this angle. Okay, so this one right here, I know that it's pointing towards the 180, but that's technically also the zero. And it does say zero right there too, that's the zero line, because it's where you're beginning. And it's going all the way here. So this is the other ray stretching out and it's going ooh, right between the 10 and the 20 if you're thinking about acute angles. But no, this is a very wide angle. So we need to look at the other side. It's between 160 and 170. So what number comes between 160 exactly in the middle of 160 and 170? That would be B. BB, that was just a typo, it should look fine on yours, but B, 165 degrees. All right guys, so that was kind of a short lesson today, but don't leave yet. Let me leave you with some words to help keep you motivated. All right, the struggle you are in today is developing the strength you need for tomorrow. Let me give you a little bit, a little example of this. When I was in fourth grade, um, my fourth grade teacher was the toughest teacher I'd ever had at the time. So, like you're in fourth grade. I don't know if your teacher is tough or not, but she was, she was kind, but she was fair, and she was strict, and you better believe that she pushed our class. Um, her name was Mrs. Steele, and she kind of challenged us right on the first day of school, and I just accepted the challenge, and her class was a struggle, but that totally Going through that developed my strength for hard work and for discipline and all of that. So just know that if you're going through something right now and it's a struggle, stick with it, stick it out, because when you come out on the other side of it, you're gonna be so strong because of that, I promise you. Stick it out, give it your best, and I will see you guys later.